This time I'm going to show you how to make the World of Warcraft logo in Photoshop. Let's uh, start by creating a new document, make it 1920 by 1080 p Select the foreground color and make it uh, into a lighter blue. You can see the hex code in the bottom left corner to simply copy it. Press OK and then press Alt Backspace to fill the background. Rename it to Background Layer and select the Type tool. Now let's type uh, whatever you want. In this case I'm typing Warcraft. Make the text completely white and change the font to Lifecraft. Of course a download link to this is uh, in the description below. Let's change uh, the size to about 300 and make sure to center the text layer. Ok, let's open the layer styles for our text layer and apply bevel and emboss. Let's change a few settings. Set um, the technique to chisel hard. The depth to about 350%. Size should be around about 25, soften at 0. Let's uh, set the shading angle to about 14 and the height to 44. And let's change the gloss contour to this and double click it. And just make the curve a bit less intense. Now let's choose the colors for our highlight. Make it into a bright orange yellowish color. And for the shadows, this should be a dark orange. And set the opacity for the shadows to about 90 and for the highlights to about 80. Let's activate texture and go into the menu and select Rock Patterns. Just press OK and select this rock pattern and set its depth to about 10%. This will create a bumpy surface on our text. Let's uh, apply a gradient overlay. Set the gradient style to reflect it and make sure to check Reverse. Let's go into the gradient editor, change le the left slider to um, a bright orange and the right slider to a bit more yellow color. Now let's apply an inner glow, this will add a bit more detail to our text. Set um, the choke to about 14%, the size to 9 pixel and just decrease the opacity a bit. Uh, leave all other settings as they are. Now add a bit of satin with a blending mode of soft light and a completely white color. This effect will um, add a bit more detail to our text as well. Set uh, the distance to about 40 pixels, size to 15 pixel and just increase the opacity a bit. And now you can see this uh, will certainly add a bit more detail to our text layer. And now let's finally create the black outline of our text. Make the, the color black and set the blend mode to multiply. Increase the opacity to about 90% and just increase the spread and size both to 17. And now you can see we've got um, this typical black outline. Okay, uh, now I think uh, we're done with uh, layer styles. Uh, I'm now going to just add a bit more um, color and contrast. So create a curves layer, make it into a clipping mask and just make a S-curve to increase the contrast. Just play a bit around. Of 
course, you can change uh, your text to whatever you want. There are lo no limitations. Um, this effect will always work. This uh, font is looking great, especially um, this S. Um, with all these layer styles applied, it's cool effect. Now I'll show you how to add even more detail to your text. Now turn uh, off the background and press Ctrl, Alt, Shift and E to create a layer snapshot. Press Ctrl U and completely remove any saturation. And now press uh, Ctrl L to increase the contrast so that just our highlights remain. Set um, the blending mode to soft light or to screen, depends on what you uh, want. I think um, um, screen is looking best. And just um, convert it to a smart object and apply a Gaussian blur. Just set the size to about 5. And now play a bit with um, your opacity. It may be a bit too strong. So just decrease it. Until it looks great. Now you can see this will add a bit more detail. Okay, I think we are done. Don't forget to comment, like and subscribe. Thanks for watching everyone and see you next time. Bye.